Hi Libra, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is a general reading for the whole of the Libra Collective. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your moon, Venus and rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then you can find the link to private readings in the description box directly below this video. Finally, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to jump straight into your reading Libra and I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. First card out for you is the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then you add the Seven of Wands, that's come out in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Also coming out in reverse is the Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have a Manger Arcana card, the Devil. And of course you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Devil is Capricorn energy. Then you have the Tower. This is Aries energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. This is also a major arcana card. We also have the Queen of Swords. That's come out in reverse. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have the King of Pentacles. That's come out in reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have another major arcana card, the Lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini. And you have the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So let's begin. Yeah, you're looking at something. You're examining something. You know, you're very intuitive. You are really, really examining something here but very closely. Let's have a look at the next two cards to find out. So we've got both of these cards in reverse, the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Wands. So I feel like you're looking at something. But you may have been putting up barriers or maybe someone else, else that you're dealing with is putting up barriers, refusing to no negotiate, being quite obstinate as well. Um, it might be that you've been putting up barriers, you know, and not, not wanting to see something or face something. But it could be someone else that's doing that to you, putting up barriers. You know, then we've got the Seven of Cups and that's in reverse as well. So, yeah, you've got a lot of, a lot of feelings that are coming to the surface here. Feelings of doubt and confusion. Um, and, and you have a choice to make. And, and... You know, this card coming out here is telling you, especially in reverse, telling you to, you should trust your feelings. Because the Queen of Wands here is very intuitive. as The intuition is very high. But you may be ignoring your intuition, putting up a barrier. But I think you're seeing now. You're seeing. You're looking at this now. Looking at something that you feel is extremely toxic. Um... I think, you know, you could be dealing with someone that you think is very greedy. Someone that is possessive. Gives in to temptation as vices. Exhibits some form of toxic behaviour that's mental, emotional, physical in nature. You could be dealing with someone that has addictions. You know, all these things could apply to you, but it could be... A, a, these things could also apply to whoever you're dealing with. Um, and there's a need here to consider pull, 
pulling back or cutting it out of your life basically i think that's what you're looking at you try you know it's time to be honest with yourself and because this is a situation that doesn't have to be permanent it's something that can change if you want it to because things are definitely falling apart with the tower you know the almighty tower you know it comes in when something is not working out or something is not for your great good demolishing all those things that are not for your greater good in order to bring you something better you know it can be a sudden dramatic change but i feel that for you these changes these things have been present for quite some time in your life you've perhaps the red flags have been there for a long time and building up um but I feel that whatever this is for you, if this is a relationship, it's very unstable. The slightest thing, you know, can tear it down, knock it apart. It's it's definitely it's definitely a very unstable, insecure kind of relationship. It's it's not really something that you feel secure in. And then we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So that you are dealing with someone that is very selfish. You could be dealing with someone that's very manipulative when the Queen of uh, Swords is in reverse. Um, someone that's narrow-minded, intolerant. I, f I feel that you're dealing with someone that's very difficult, very selfish indeed. Um, very cutting with their remarks here someone definitely very selfish and mean you know we've got the king of pentacles in in reverse here this is definitely someone that is has taken you for granted that has misused their power there's an, been a, an abuse of power here this is someone that is very mean spirited that is out for themselves and i think you are seeing this you're finally seeing this person's true colours you're realising that this person's not going to change and you know you've got to make a better choice in love for yourself the lovers could be about a choice in love you know that this is not the right choice for you this is not going to make you happy in the long run you can't remain in this situation because it's just dragging you down it's getting you down you don't never feel happy it's draining you you don't feel like yourself anymore you know it's like you're the shadow of your former self you know it's all the energies has been knocked out of you dealing with this person you this person stressed you out caused you a lot of anxiety a lot of stress a lot of pain and this is and it's become a very big burden that you just want to drop that you want to put down that you want to put away you know that you want to end basically with the ten of wands you're ready to free yourself of this burden let's get some more cards out for you yeah you're making a decision with the judgment card you also could be dealing with a scorpio with the judgment card gemini with the lovers aries with the tower capricorn with the devil um, and of course Scorpio with the judgment card here this big decision you're making it's going to change your life I think for the better though it's going to, you need to restore that harmony and balance in your life and you're not going to do that with this person you know being with this person you've stuck at it for long enough you just can't do it anymore and yet it's taking you time it's taking time for you to come to this decision to realise you've got to do what's right for you to have the strength to do this and it has taken time with the knight of pentacles it's not something that you are going to rush into or do lightly but eventually you will it's going to take time but you will you will walk away from this you will turn your back on this you will drop that big heavy burden yeah like i said it is taking time because some of you are going back and forth in your decision making one minute you want to leave it drop it get rid of it and next minute you don't 
but you've got to come to that decision. You know you've got to make that decision. I feel you are going to. Yeah. Got the emperor here. The emperor finally is someone that's taking control, taking initiative of a situation. You are going to take action. You're going to take control of this situation. You're going to do what's right for you and good for you. And also the emperor is Aries energy, dealing with an Aries. Let's get you out some romance angels to wrap this up. So in the end, you are going to do the right thing. You are going to have the, the courage and confidence to take control of the situation, take the initiative and do what's right for you. Drop this big heavy burden. Just get rid of this toxic element from your life. Got deception. Yeah. So yeah, this person's right, been very deceptive, been playing a lot of games with you. Hasn't been true to themselves, very toxic. It's just not some you just don't want this part, as part of your life. You don't want to be with someone like this. And you've got to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Very appropriate for the Emperor, you see. Because that's exactly what you're doing. Finally, in the end, you will do the right thing. You will free yourself. You will take the initiative. You will take control of the situation. And you will walk away from this. So, that was your reading. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Share this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye.